So today we're making Kaiserschmarrn. Translates to the emperor's nonsense. It's an Austrian dish, originated in Austria, but I believe it originated in the High Alps, where the uh, cowherds went over the summer and they had limited supplies. They had eggs, they had milk, they had flour. And so Kaiserschmarrn was made. And it can be eaten as a dessert or a main dish. It's not necessary, it's not a breakfast item, it's a meal or a dessert. You can eat it for breakfast, but most people don't. We're separating eggs. Make sure when you separate that there is no yolk and no eggshell of any kind in the whites or the whites won't be adding a little bit of cream of tartar to the egg whites to help them stiffen up there isn't a much half a teaspoon maybe for eight egg whites when you beat egg whites there is a little there's three stages one is it's foamy and let's just say beat egg whites until foamy the next stage is soft peaks beat egg whites into soft peaks. It still looks, it's foamy, it's runny, but when you pull up your mixer, it forms a little peak. Not a very pronounced peak, but just a little peak. And you can see the little lines radiating out. It's when you're at the soft peak stage. If you beat it longer, eventually you get to the hard peak stage, which means more pronounced peaks. And if you beat it past that, it's all gonna collapse and you start over. Now we should be either at the hard peak stage or very close to it. And you see that it's a more pronounced peak. It will get thicker. You pull it out. It has almost like whipped cream. Not quite because it's a different foamy consistency. All it is is egg whites and air. There's no fat other than fat from the egg white. And when you pick up the bowl, it doesn't go anywhere, it doesn't move, it just stays put. Kaiser Schmarrn in some regions isn't sugared at all. You eat it with some sweet compote or the raisins will provide sugar. In our case, we're adding, for eight eggs, I'd add three heaping tablespoons. That should be enough. An additional spoon of vanilla sugar, which is sugar that has a scraped out vanilla bean in it and it just gets sunk in there and it can sit. And it infuses the sugar with a vanilla flavor. If you don't have that tablespoon of vanilla extract for eight eggs, should probably do it. We're adding a pinch of salt. So now we are combining this until it changes color. It becomes a lighter yellowish and it looks a little bit creamy. Two cups of milk. In our case, whole milk, reduced fat milk works. With the eggs so that it's all mixed together. Two cups of all-purpose flour. I use unbleached all-purpose, you can use bleached. That's one cup and in between I mix it up so that it doesn't clump too much. It seems to dry. Add some more milk if it seems too runny. It's about the consistency of thick pancake butter between pancake batter and brownie batter, I would think. Um, we used raisins and in this case, we just soaked them in warm water. The warmth means the raisins absorb the water or fluid faster, but you can use rum just out of the bottle, not warm. Orange juice, apple juice. Water. And the raisins have plumped up, they're getting bigger. So the sophisticated method is... Done. There is a difference between stirring and whipping and folding. What we're doing is we're folding in the egg whites into the uh, other part of the batter. Use a little bit first and you fold. And you twist your whisk a little bit. And you see that in the, in the pan, it combines without losing the volume of the egg white. If you whisk like crazy or if you stir, you're just going to beat all the air back out of the egg whites and your pancake will be flat and hard as a rock. So now the rest is in and we just keep folding it in. It's gonna look like a, almost like vanilla pudding when it's done. The, the color is a whitish cream color. 
and you see that it's still lifted you lose a little bit of the volume but you don't want to use it all so when it's combined and looks like it's combined that's when you're done you don't over beat it because every or over mix it because otherwise you lose the air again the point is to keep the air in and keep the pancake light and fluffy now, we're melting about two tablespoons of butter in the pan and we're melting it on medium heat. Kaiserschmarrn is not made on high heat. The bottom will be black and the inside won't be cooked. The butter is melted and in goes the whole schmarrn. Remember it's medium low to medium at the highest heat. Not medium high, not high. It's in the pan, on goes the lid and it begins to cook. The underside browns and in between we're going to check how brown it is we are now sprinkling on raisins some people put it directly in the batter i prefer to sprinkle it around it gives the more even coverage we are checking and you can see little bubbles around the edges so very carefully we can pull it away from the edges if it actually adds like a cohesive like a pancake then we're getting closer, but I can also see that it's still white. So I'm leaving him alone for another still minutes. checking. The outside should be relatively firming up because what you do under the lid is you're steaming it too. You're steaming the top and you're frying the bottom. But the inside is still jiggly. So I would bet the outside is getting better. You can see that it comes away, but it's still a little, like a butter yellow color not worth turning it over yet another two three minutes now it's beginning to smoke you can see little holes forming like craters and that probably means that it's time to turn them over so we're cutting them in quarters and we're flipping each quarter it doesn't need to be a clean job it just needs to flip because you're tearing it apart at the end so there's one quarter And the job gets repeated four times. Second quarter. That was. You now can turn, turn off the heat, clean up your mess, but you put on your lid again to let it actually cook on the inside, finish cooking the as it's cooked for about a minute, you start shredding the, your pancake while it's still cooking. And you usually use two forks and you shred it. There is no fancy cutting or that it looks good. It's a shredded pancake. But it's a very thick ah, no, shredded, it's a very thick shredded pancake. And it continues cooking after you shred it up. Some people want it not fully cooked on the inside. They want like a, almost like a custard, but I prefer my Kaiserschmarrn fully cooked. And you can see how thick it is. It's about what inch thick. Well, it's still finishing its cooking. You dust it with powdered sugar for the first time and you put the lid on, it almost caramelizes the sugar a little bit. And you leave it for about a minute. More powdered sugar. This time I mix powdered sugar with cinnamon just because I liked it. And this is regular powdered sugar. And you dust it on thick. And now it's ready to eat or you can put jam or some kind of food preserves with it. 